this isn't your typical haul, but um, I am doily obsessed. And here's what I bought. Um, I got, I paid a dollar a piece for each of these 11 doily. There's actually 12 doilies here. And she gave me all 12 for $11. So basically a dollar a piece. She threw in one for free. And then these two I got for a dollar a piece. They left the tag on this one. Um, but it was a dollar a piece. And then these are called finger fairy, finger fairy doilies. And the reason they call them that is because as you can see, there's little pockets on either side for your fingers to fit in. And from what I can read, I'll insert a little picture of where I could find them online when I Google Lens them. But basically you would put your fingers in here. And these types of doilies, they're coasters, but they were also used to um, like pick up your biscuits. Like you could pick up a biscuit or something. I would find it very difficult to pick up that, but that's that's what I read they were used for. Now, you guys have heard me mention before that I would rather have the stained and the very worn and very aged looking doilies because that just, it's their special patina. And <laughs> I just love things that are old and show like they've been used or they're, they have some history to them. So I, I love that about that. And then I got two runners, one short, one long. This one is a shorter one. And I paid $8 for both of these. It's hard to get um, on camera how gorgeous they really are without laying them out. And I just didn't clear things for that. I thought this is more important to lay out. And then there's this one that's the same pattern but longer. And this is a little bit different thread than the other one. This is a lighter thread, and this one is a heavier weight thread. And so I did look up, I'm still researching and looking up the history and origin of doilies and what they meant. What I can gather so far is that they were named after a man who came up with the idea. Um, but I'll read more up on them. If you guys know anything about the history, um, let me know in the comments below. I'm definitely interested in learning more. These are very interesting to me. They're very sheer and yellowy. I think they're meant to be yellow. They're not aged. Like, I mean, they are aged, but I don't think the yellow is coming from age. I think yellow is the color of the thread or the material, but they're beautiful. There was three of those. This one's oblong and these two are more circle. Um, you can tell that they're they're hand stitched. They're really, really gorgeous to me. They really are like works of art and I, I love them. The other thing, the other couple things I got, this is a very short haul that it's not big. I got a crock for $5. They had two, but I only got one. I got the one that still has a seal. I haven't opened it, but this one still has a seal. The other one didn't. And I almost got both of them, but I didn't want to be stingy. I thought maybe someone else would want a nice crock um, like this, so I didn't. I, I only I only took one, and I like that it's all rustic and and aged and and has some wear and tear. You know, I love that, and this will go good on my hutch over here. So I'm excited about that. And then I got a little pitcher again for my hutch, and this one has. A little flower and some greenery on it. I think this will be cute in the fall or all year. I'll use it all year round, but I just love that. Um, no special markings on it that I can tell. And I did not Google lens this or the, this I think would be a cheese crock. I, di I didn't Google lens either of those. I don't think that they're anything extremely rare or special, um, but special to me. And then, oh, and this was $5. And the book was $5. Um, and this book is a business letter. I, I don't know much, too much about it. I haven't looked at it all the way through or anything like that. But it's basically a 
instructional book. And I just love this on, on the front of it. I thought this was very unique. And I think this is going to go great with my idea for my secretary's hutch in the sitting room. Alrighty, bestie, so that's gonna do it for today's video. I know it was short and sweet, but I really love this haul. I love these doilies in the book and the little picture in the crock. I'm just over the moon about it. Next week's gonna be another um, haul video because Art and I are gonna take you with us as we go to a new antique store that is, it's been there for two years, so it's not new in the area, but it is new to us. Um, in Stephen City, Virginia. It is in an old post office building, an historic old post office building. So I'm excited about seeing the inside of that and the architecture. Um, but it's three stories of vintage and antique goodness. And I cannot wait to take you along with us and show you what we got from there next week. So until then, I hope you guys stay well and enjoy the week ahead. And I will see you when we do this all again next Sunday. So until then, I'll see you later, besties. Bye.